Hi, this is Adam Kunzmiller with Board Game Geek at Gen Con 50, and I'm joined by Isaac Childress with Cephalo Fair Games. And we're here to look at Founders of Gloomhaven? Yes. So what is Founders of Gloomhaven? What is Founders of Gloomhaven? It is uh, the prequel game to uh, Gloomhaven, uh, which, uh, yes, hopefully people are familiar people with People are familiar. This point. If not, you know where to go to find out about it. Right, yeah. <laughs> Um, but it is nothing like Gloomhaven. So Gloomhaven is you know a tactical dungeon crawl, running through dungeons, killing monsters. This is about city building. So we are a bunch of different races coming together to build the city of Gloomhaven, like hundreds of years before the events of the Gloomhaven campaign. Oh. Uh, and it is a competitive game though, because you know the races don't necessarily like each other. They you know are working together, but they they want to be the one who get the most influence in the city in the end. <clears throat> so, uh, how the game plays, um, the general idea is that you, uh, each of the races has control of two of eight uh, basic resources in the game. Um, and so, you know, the Vermlings might be controlling like wood and stone, and then the Inox might be controlling like livestock and gems, and there are eight different resources. Mm -hmm. And you could, and the goal is to take those resources and sort of combine them into more advanced resources and then deliver them to point buildings, um, which is going to earn you points. Um, but you can never do that by yourself. Um, so you can't just use your own two resources to get a bunch of points. You always have to be using other people's resources. Um, and so this plays out on this uh, map board. So we've got a lot of tile placement, spatial mm -hmm. aspects to it. So you're sort of placing your own resources and then. Uh, buying into other people's resources and then uh, building the building that will sort of combine those into a, a better resource. Mm -hmm. um, but it's very uh, competitive. Like you know, you're gonna, you're trying to build this before they build it, right? Um, so that you can get the majority of the points. Uh, it all plays out through a a uh, hand management system. Um, so each player starts off with the same deck of cards. And uh, the play is pretty simple. You're just playing a card from your hand mm -hmm. uh, to take whatever action. But the cool thing is that when you play a card, you do the main action and everyone else at the table gets to follow you. So oh, it's okay. a little bit like Puerto Rico. Right. Like you get to do a cool action, they get to do like a slightly less cool slightly action. Less cool. But it allows for lots of player interaction, lots of planning, like you know, trying to figure out like what your opponent's going to do. Minimal downtime, you're doing something. Right, right. yeah, turn. exactly. Yeah, you're, there's there's pretty much no downtime. You're always paying attention to what other people are doing. The you know the, the spatial aspect of the board and how you know a lot of city building games. It's kind of weird. You're you're like building your own city while they're building their right. own city, and it's like what what's going on here? Like there's one city. You're all building it together. There's mm -hmm. lots of player interaction out on the board um, because you're constantly getting in each other's way. Uh, and then there's also a voting mechanic, uh, which adds even more player interaction. So. Uh, when I play my cards, eventually I want to get my cards back. Sort of like Concordia, there's a card that's going to let you back and grab everything. Stuff. Yep. And uh, th this card does a lot of stuff, though. Um, when you play it, it actually triggers income for the other players. So, um, so I, I'm giving you money, essentially. But at some point, I'm going to have to do that because I need to get my cards back. And then after they collect income, we all vote on which of the prestige buildings we want to get placed out on the board sort of in a blind bidding mechanic. We're sort of collecting this influence over time and then we decide how much influence we want to, to add to wh whichever building we want to get placed out on the board. And these are point scoring opportunities. Mm -hmm. So um, you're looking at these buildings and seeing, oh, well, I'm, I'm making this resource over here and it's gonna get me a lot of points. So I wanna make sure that building goes out on the board, but you know, other people might have other ideas. So you gotta figure out how much influence you're cool. willing to, to bid to that. To and sure. uh, how many players does this support? Uh, it's one to four, so there's a, a solo mode where uh, you control just all eight resources and you're just trying to build trying stuff to build as fast as possible. the best possible city yeah. you can. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then two to four competitive. Great, and how long would a game typically take? Uh, it's typically about two hours or, or less, like once you're familiar with the game. Um, yeah, I've, I had a demo earlier, it's brand new people sat down and taught them the rules and they finished the game within two hours. Nice. So. Uh, yeah, it, it's you know it's it's on the heavier side, but but yeah, it's not like a epic like three or four hour experience. And when can people first get their hands on it? Uh, it will be available for retail in January, um, but they can uh, go uh, pre-order right now. Um, so the Kickstarter just ended like last week, mm -hmm. um, but you can still go to the, pre the Kickstarter page and, and there's a pre-order link. Great. Well, thank you, Isaac, again for walking us through Founders of Blue Yeah, you're welcome.
do you guys have any other Gloomhaven universe games in the works? Uh, kind of, yeah. I mean, there's a, yeah, there's a game I was actually working on before Gloomhaven, mm -hmm. and uh, it really, it works really well in, in the Gloomhaven universe, so it was in it's the works nice previously. Happens. I haven't <laughs> revisited it since, you know, since uh, I finished Gloomhaven, but I plan to at some point. <laughs> right. Thanks again. Yeah.